E's raised to the third power, video 7B, test taking techniques. This is the continuation of the slides for video 7. Practicum. This is an exam given in labs. Students write the answers spelled correctly. Usually, each student starts at a different station, are given a limited amount of time, and must rotate to the next stations when time is up. Because there is a limited amount of time per question and students cannot go back to the previous question, it can be very stressful. Strategies for practicum. Stay calm. First, read the questions to know what you are looking for, and then second, look at the specimen to find your answer. Third, write your answer on the blank space for that number on answer sheet, or write little clues to return to this later if you do not know. Remember to put a question mark in this space so you can skip this number. Do not look at the specimen first. You need to read the questions to give the correct answer. If you don't know something, do not let it bother you. Just move on. Do not let it distract you from answering the remaining questions, which may be easy and unrelated to the one you don't know. If you have time remaining after easy questions, then go back to the questions you have skipped using the clues you have written. Use any spare time to check your answers and spellings. Suppose you did not know number 5 but forgot to leave it blank. You realize your mistake when you are at number 10. To save time, renumber instead of erasing and rewriting the answers. Cheating. If you run out of study time or do not know the answer, just accept it. Do not cheat with hidden notes. Do not look at your neighbor's answer. It may be wrong. It is not worth getting caught. Break. No matter how you think you did in the exam, you deserve a break immediately after the test. Unless you have another exam this next day, don't study for the rest of the day. Relax and go play. Now, let's review how you perform on the test and watch video 8, Post-Test Analysis.